Hey, what up guys, two scoops again. For this tip, I'm gonna be talking about using phasers for uh, just sound design in general um, in an extreme way that most people don't tend to do. Um, I think it's surfaced more recently in the past uh, year or so uh, with guys like Hero Bust and myself and you know other guys just using flangers and phasers and other effects. And I sometimes even use stuff like uh, simple delays in ways where it's I'm using a bunch of feedback and it's just creating insanity. So I'm going to kind of walk you guys through how I do that using Anna 2 and just stock Ableton stuff. So uh, yeah, check it out. So I'm going to start by sort of making a bit of a, a pattern. I have Anna 2 open here. I'm just going to initialize a preset here. And let's just, just got that going on. Oh, I'm going to adjust that right quick. No, 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 no release. So. so yeah, I'm just gonna start by making a, a kind of like a drop pattern sort of thing. Just kind of something choppy and interesting. guys over here so looping pattern here it's pretty pretty hard so I'm gonna kind of keep this as is right now I might go back later and change the actual um, oscillator sound or the wavetable or whatever. So yeah, uh, so now I'm, what I'm gonna do is add the phaser. So I tend to use two phasers for this type of sound design. So, and both on the space setting here. And so let's see what this sounds like. Start to kind of hear that a little bit. So I'm gonna bring up the feedback to about point 93. Yeah, you can real hear, really hear that now. so it sounds like a proper drop. Let's hear the sounds. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do now is actually duplicate the phaser. So there's two of them, and I'm going to slightly change the feedback on this, just a little bit less, not, not that much. <laughs> uh, 0.90, see how this sounds now. I like to have one at a little bit of different frequency too, so just like. Yeah, it sounds cool like that. So they're kind of creating this interesting harmonic, very harmonious. So next what I'm gonna do is group these together and use the macros and map them to the frequency. So uh, I'm just gonna map this here and then map this one here and make that same change uh, that I did earlier. Let's just kind of hear how this sounds though, just to, just to check on it. Yeah, so that's that's starting to sound pretty cool, actually. Um, so everything's very post-processing with this. So what I'm gonna just do is uh, take this off here because we got that all mapped. And then I'm going to uh, start off by adding an overdrive. Let's really start bringing out the sound a bit more. Gritty. Yeah. <laughs> 
And after that, what I'm gonna do is um, add an OTT. I'm just gonna like, go crazy on the OTTs here, basically. Uh, yeah, like basic, just pretty much keep it all at, at 100. I mean, you can obviously, if, if it's not dynamic enough, change the amount. But for these types of sounds, I like to keep it a lot, a lot higher. So, so let's see. Um, and then, so what I'm going to do next is uh, just kind of start uh, automating the uh, the effect rack here um, on the track. Let's see. Kind of want to tone down the overdrive a bit. So let's see here. to do stuff like this so the, with using the pen tool kind of just even more like that kind of create the the bell sound here <laughs> kind of inter interchange this with these. It's all sometimes about the subtleties of this, so... Because sometimes too much with this can be just too much in general, so... Duplicate this here, bring this one down more. So I'm just gonna kinda duplicate this pattern here with the automations and kinda we kinda have this general drop feel going on. So um, this is the general technique. You can kind of take this a lot further than this and do add more overdrives. I'm just going to add a saturator and an EQ after this uh, just to kind of cut out some of the bad uh, frequencies here. Let's see. It's a very loud sound. Yeah, it sounds pretty dope though. So I'm actually gonna go back to Anna 2 and change the wave uh, the wavetable and let's see if we can get a different kind of sound out of this. So I'm gonna move to some of these. So that sounds actually pretty cool in my opinion. So I'm actually I'm also gonna add a uh, just slight reverb um, after the uh, phasers. So let's see. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much how you make those sorts of sounds. You can do all this stuff interchangeably. You can even switch the phasers to 
uh, flangers and other things and just go all out on it. But uh, that's kind of just what I like doing for a lot of my music, just that style of sound design. So uh, yeah, um, for the next tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how to use vocal phrases in such a way where you can almost just make really hard hitting drop synths with them. So yeah, catch me in the next one. Peace. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.